on average, people in Singapore consume about 360 eggs per year. So on average, Singapore needs 5.5 million eggs a day, which is one of the highest in the world. That's a lot of numbers flying around. While Singapore's diversity in food import sources have made us more food secure, it is important that we do not rest on our laurels. Singapore aims to produce 30% of our nutritional needs by 2030, up from less than 10% currently. And to get there, we will need to grow more food closer to home. Hi, I'm Charlotte May and I'm on a journey to learn more about Singapore's local produce. And joining me today is Chef Devagi Sanmugam. A chef, cooking instructor, and an author of multiple cookbooks. So Chef, how familiar are you with our local farms? I usually approach the local farmers to source for my ingredients because they are fresh and I know they are there and I can consult them as well. Wow, sounds like you are very familiar and experienced with our local farms. Today we are at Chew's Agriculture, so let's go find out more about what they do. We are Choose Agriculture and we are one of the five egg farms in Singapore. We believe in producing safe and fresh eggs using modern technology. One of the main advantages of buying local is the accountability of the source of the products. All the local eggs are produced under strict regulations by SFA. So you can assure that there's a high standard for our local eggs. As a chef, I'm always looking out for fresh produce, right? How can you tell me that your produce is really fresh? We always focus on three things, locally laid, buy safe and eat fresh. So you can expect the eggs being laid in the morning will be delivered to the shelf by within 24 hours. And so how many eggs do we see coming out of here every day? As of today, Choose Agriculture is producing about 700,000 eggs every single day. Oh, it's like mental sums. How many eggs do we need in Singapore in a day? Singapore needs about 5.5 million eggs every single day. That's a lot of numbers flying around. Uh, I think that 30 by 30 goal is a very good direction and it's very achievable if our government, the farmers and also the consumers work together as a nation. We are back from the farm and we're now going to cook up these eggs. So Chef, tell me, what will you be making? I'm going to make an egg biryani. Sounds delicious. Why have you chosen this recipe? Well, it's simple to do. An egg is just high in protein, it's good value for money and it's just so delicious to cook with it. It is. Nutritious, delicious. Let's get started. Yes. I'm going to do the rice now. So I'm just heating up the pot. It has to be hot and then add about one or two tablespoons of ghee, cardamoms, cloves, and um, cinnamon stick. So what kind of rice would be good for a biryani? Basmati rice is very aromatic. Mm, and it gives yeah. you that nice fluffy texture, Definitely, right? Yeah. I add in about one litre of um, chicken stock, saffron. Okay, so the saffron is for the flavour as well as for a light tinge of yellow colour. Mm. Cover and let it boil until it is cooked. Okay. So Chef, what are we baking next? We are going to do the egg masala, but before that I need to boil some eggs. I've got some eggs here and you want to be looking out for this logo to make sure that you're using local eggs. So to do the egg masala, we need to have some ghee. Of course, you can add oil if you want to. I'm going to add in the onions, ginger garlic paste, sliced tomatoes, some yogurt, chopped coriander leaves. Okay, so now we can add in the egg. So what do you look out for when you're shopping for eggs? The most important thing I look for expiry date. And then I will also look to see whether the egg has still got its shine there. If the egg has been there too long, it will become too porous and dry. And I like that we're using eggs as well. It's quick to cook, you can store it, it's nutritious. Correct. And I think it's the it's the protein that Singaporeans eat the most, the actually. Most, yeah, so. correct. Let's have a look at the rice. Wow! See, it's all fluffy and yeah, nice. Okay. So we fluff up the rice, mm -hmm. and then add in the masala egg, stir it, and then add in the omelette, some chopped minced leaves okay. and coriander leaves. And then just stir everything together until it's well combined and then it's ready for serving. Awesome! And what happens next? Go sit down and lunch will be served. Alright! <laughs> I'm excited! And did you learn most of the dishes you know today from your mom? 
the Indian dishes, mm -hmm. yes. But she would never tell anyone that she taught me because she says I know much better than her. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> well, that's so important, right? Yeah. To eat at home and to learn from your mom. And I think this is one of the reasons why food plays such a huge role in our everyday life, in our culture, in our yeah. identity. And it only makes sense that we're able to provide for ourselves too. Definitely. As a chef, I'm always looking out for fresh ingredients. And the thought of from farm to table is really exciting for me because they have not travelled very long, so they contain the nutrients better. And I think that whole idea of it you know, brought to our table from the farm on the same day is a function of our size as well. And I think it's to our advantage that we're such a small country, so mm. that can happen within the day. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. Very exciting. We're very lucky.